In today's video, we are going to talk about 15 Python project ideas for beginners. Myself, Muhammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Calculator what would be a better way to start learning the Python programming language than starting a calculator as your first project? A calculator may be the most common entry-level project for any language, but its purpose is to understand that how language and its workflow operate. By making a simple calculator, you will have a grasp on how basic Python operators work. For example, how to take the input from the user, how to process those inputs, and you will also have to learn how to do operations on those inputs, for example, addition, subtractions, multiplication, etc. You will also have to take care of data types as different data types will be used. Let's say you were asked to divide 9 by 4. Obviously, the answer will be in fraction, so for that purpose, we have to use different data types. So I would recommend you to start with this one as one of your first Python based project. After that, you can add some complex functions like you can introduce algebraic expressions and you can go with scientific functions as well. Number 2. Fibonacci Number Generator While well, the mathematical series known as Fibonacci series has been one of the most popular coding questions in the programming community in almost every programming language. Essentially, in this Fibonacci number series, you start with two numbers, let's say 0 and 1, and then we add them to create our third Fibonacci number. From then on, we keep adding the following number and the second last Fibonacci number will generate the next one. In this project, you can ask the user for the Fibonacci number required and generate it. For example, users enter the 20 and your program must generate the Fibonacci number 20 and the answer should be 6765. You can take this project a step further and show the user entire series and calculation up to the point user has asked us with the mathematical working. In this project, you will also learn the concept of recursive function. Number 3. String Reversal Program in this program, you will need to take a string input from a user. Well, string is an array of character. Or you can also have the pre-entered string into your system. But it is better to have input from the user. After that, we will rearrange the string in reverse order and display the output to the user. After you are done with reversing the string, you can further enhance the functionality of this project by changing various program attributes. For example, you can take a scenario in which you ask the user to enter the sentence as an input and you reverse every word in the sentence and you keep the position of each word same. You just reverse the words. In another scenario, you can take a sentence as an input and reverse the order in which the word appears without changing the contents of the words themselves. Or you can also take a sentence from the user, you reverse the order of the words and you reverse the character in each word as well. Other than that, you can implement a lot of other variations of string manipulation in this program. At the end of it, you can even convert this program into a menu based program where the users can select what sort of string manipulation they want to perform on their given inputs. Number four. Bayes Calculator The scope of this application is minimal and straightforward. This program will ask the user to give you two inputs, a start date and an end date. Upon receiving the inputs, your program will calculate the number of days. Once the input is received, your program will calculate the number of days between those two dates and give the result to the user. You can take in the input dates in different formats as per your liking, but make sure that you keep and you follow the same format throughout your program. 
This program can be a challenging task for beginners as this program is one of the highly recommended Python projects. In this project, you will be learning how to work with strings, arrays, loops, and if-else statement. You can also consider using the while loops and switch statements instead of for loops and if-else statement. When you need to calculate the days in other months when a leap year comes in, the real problem solving challenge will come in. So consider this project and I'm sure you will love this one. Number five, password generator. We all face the problem of forgetting the password now and then. And when we recover the password, almost every application or website asks us to create a new password. And here comes the problem when we have to create a new password that is secure enough and easy enough to remember. To get rid of this problem, you can create your password generator. You can create a program that allow you to select the number of characters that you want in a password. It also asks you if you want to include special characters, capital letters, numbers, etc. in the password or not. And at the end, you can generate a password for the user. And the user can use that password on different platforms. To make it more fun, you can also include a library where you can allow the user to store their passwords. And those passwords are only accessible to the user upon entering a password into your program. You can include the user interface to make this project user friendly and more entertaining to develop. Number six, contact book. This is one of the excellent and straightforward to implement Python projects for beginners. Almost every one of us uses a contact book to save the contact details, including people's names, addresses, phone numbers, etc. You can make this project a command line or a UI based project. In this project, you can also add the functionality of searching, which means if the user enters the name of a particular person, their details should show up on the screen. The applications should also allow the user to update contact information, delete contacts, etc. To save the data, either you can use the filing or go with some database with your Python. Number seven, reminder. Well, a lot of time we forget to do some work, task, or something fundamental that was supposed to be done at a particular time. To make sure that you do everything on time, you can make a reminder program in Python. In this program, you can ask the user to enter their daily tasks and the times they want to do those tasks. When we have the list of tasks and the times when they were supposed to be done, you can make the system to generate the alarm five minutes before the time so that user can be reminded of their task. Not only that, you can have more than one tune for alarm. You can ask the user to set a particular one for him or herself. To make things more interesting, you can ask the user to mark their task as essential or urgent. For such tasks, you can make sure that system generates the alarm 10 or 15 minutes before the actual time and only stop until the user enters a particular password in the system. This program seems very simple, but it will require you to work closely with everything in this. And you can also go for the user interface project as well. Number eight, binary search algorithm. Well, you must have heard the proverb, finding a needle in a haystack. A binary search program just does that. In this program, you can ask the user to enter two numbers, starting one and ending one. Let's say user enters zero and thousand. Now your program will again ask the user to enter the number to search if the number is present in the list or not. To do this project, you will divide your list that you have gotten from your user into two halves. Upon checking the number, if it is present in the list or not, the program will first check the number in the first half of the list. If it is present, it will discard the second half of the list. And if the number is present in the second half, the first half will get discarded because now it is confirmed that the number is present in the second half. After that, we will again divide the remaining halves into two more halves and it will reduce the number of iterations needed to find a number in the list. This program will require you to learn how to work with if-else, nested for loops, 
and other introductory programming concepts. Because binary search algorithms and binary search programs are really helpful and really useful in such systems where we have a lot of data and we want a particular data or particular entry from that data. Number nine, rock, paper, scissors. Let's add some fun to our programming journey and let's create a very prominent game that is also not that difficult to develop. If you are not familiar with user interface designing, you can make this game console based as well. You can ask the user to enter an alphabet or entire string for their move. Let's say you can ask the user to enter R or write rock. And for your move, you can use the Python random function to choose one condition, whether rock, paper or scissor. Then you can check who is the winner. Let's say user entered the rock and the system chose the scissor for you. In that case, user will be the winner. And you can do the same for other scenarios as well. After the game, you can ask the user if he or she want to play again or not. After you are done with this project, you can further enhance it by adding more functionalities like adding the scores or converting this program into user interface based project. Number 10, tic tac toe. As we are done with one game, let's have another very dear game and straightforward to develop. Tic tac toe, you can make this game in your Python and we need to build a three cross three grid. In that grid, you can ask the user to enter his input like you can ask the user to either enter X or O. The second player can be your friend or in case you want to play it with computer, you can do so. In that case, your program will make its move and again, upon finding a pattern in the grid, a winner can be declared. This project will require you to have substantial knowledge and grip on if else statement and some information about the user interface development. Other than that, this project is simple one to develop. Number 11, currency converter. We all must have used the currency converter on Google at least once. How cool it would be to have one of our own currency converter. In this project, you can have 20 currencies stored in your system for start. And you can ask to show all the currencies to the user on console or on user interface. User can select the option from the console. And after that, you can ask the user to enter the amount. Let's say user selects pound to dollar and let's say user adds 100 pounds. After that, the system will calculate and it will show you the number of dollars you will get after the calculation. After you are done with this phase, you can add more functionality to this program. For example, you can use some APIs to get the live rates of the currencies from the web and present them to the user. After that, you can convert this program into a user interface based program. Number 12, weight converter. Just like the currency converter, you can make a weight converter as well. You can use different weight units, for example, kilo to grams, grams to pound, grams to kilo, etc. To make this project more challenging, you can convert this one into a user interface based project. And now let's move on towards a bit more complex and more extensive projects. Number 13, Website Blocker. We all know and we all have suffered that many unwanted sites pop up to distract us while surfing through the internet. This project can help you as it can be built to block certain websites from opening. You can also add the social media websites to your block list that will keep you focused while working on something important. Obviously, for this project, you will need to have in-depth knowledge of how to work with different concepts of Python that get used for the web. Number 14. Music Player Many people love to listen to music when they work or in daily life tasks as well. How cool it would be to have one of our own music player. You can make a music player very quickly in Python. You can ask the user to add their songs into a custom playlist. And you can also make your music player smart enough to make the playlist for the user on its own. For example, if a user listens to a particular song more than two times, you can add that song into a playlist. And you can also notify the user about the addition of that song to the playlist. 
To make things more fun, you can enhance the functionality of your music player and you can allow the user to edit their playlist, add songs based on their artist, albums, movies, etc. And you can also allow the user to control the volume through your music player. Number 15. Typing Tester Well, with the help of this project, user can improve their typing and typing speed. You can present the user with random or pre-entered paragraphs and ask the user to re-enter the paragraph. In the end, you can inform the user about the number of mistakes they have made while typing. You can also include the timer in this project to let user know that how much time they have taken to complete the given task. To develop this project, you have to have a firm grip of loops, strings, arrays, and other basic Python concepts. And with that, we are done with all the 15 Python projects that you can consider for beginners. Please leave a like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.